you know my two students went for the exam and they got perfect 90 in the speaking section along with perfect 90 in the listening section how they got you want to learn all these skills so that you can get good scores in your PT speaking section so this video is only for you guys because in this tutorial I'm going to share some tips and tricks and template for describe an image and read the lecture tips regarding repeat sentences everything I'm going to explain in this tutorial just wait and watch so guys let's start our today's session So my screen is visible in front of you. I will say what I'm explaining that is nine hidden gems to score nine bands in PT speak. I'm going to explain the rules and also I will let you know how you will speak for read aloud, repeat sentences, describe an image, read a lecture. I'm not talking about only for the answer short question because answer short questions are not really important. Remember one thing guys, if my students can get perfect 90 in the PT speaking section you can also pass with 90 in PT speaking if you will follow my tips and tricks so what is the first rule I'm going to explain each and everything one by one so first rule is speak clearly and fluently maintain a steady pace avoiding long pauses or fillers firstly I will explain each and everything I'm talking about the rules then I will apply these rules and you will understand how you have to speak second rule is manage your time correct so you know in the read aloud section if you have 35 seconds but you are thinking so much you are not doing practice in just 35 seconds and you are full confident that is called overconfident then you can speak in with good or fancy pronunciation maybe you are absolutely wrong you have to utilize your 20, 35 seconds in PT reading uh, PT read aloud section so time management is very important next is you have to practice with your pronunciation because that is very very important you know so if you will not practice with your pronunciation, you will lose your marks. Every time you will get new questions or new, what do you call, new answers or new questions, what, what you can, in the case of read aloud, that is a type of question. You have to practice, focus on the correct pronunciation of words. If you are not able to speak any particular word, you can skip. Now you will think how many words you can skip. I'm talking about PT reading. PT speaking read a lot section approximately three or four words you can skip no problem at all it depends on the length of the question so if the question is around 70 to 80 words you can skip three or four words no problem at all but make sure you will maintain your oral fluency and pronunciation right next is very very easy and important that is enhance content quality sometimes you know we are not able to speak any particular word as i told you you have to maintain your content quality and your speed as well what speed you can use moderate some students are thinking we have to speak very fast some students are saying like you have to speak very slow so that you know computer can understand your voice you know these are all bogus things what I am explaining that is totally proved. My students already got and getting 90 out of 90 in the PT speaking section. You can also pass if you will follow all rules according to my video. You don't have to pay anything. You just watch and apply these rules in your PT speaking section. Next is practice with a timer. If you are practicing at home, you have physical document and you are just speaking speaking without any timing 
then how you can analyze yourself so practice with a timer is very important because see PTE is a computer based test that is totally based on tips and tricks and templates and some some uh, you know and your knowledge in the case of PT reading section but in the speaking section I can't tell you or I'm you know that we this uh, PT speaking section is not based on knowledge right it is totally based on your practice and tricks so practice with the timer always so if we will talk about you know Rita lecture so what you have to do you have to improve your note taking skills sometimes you know what what is happening sometimes students have lots of notes but they are not able to speak that is a big challenge for you so how you will speak only by practice without practice you will go it's a hit and trial method maybe you can speak well maybe not but if you will practice at home you will definitely score well and you will speak well let's take an example suppose day after tomorrow is your exam and you are just searching today on YouTube what is PTE you are very busy but you are not able to find time to practice and without practice you are going for exam maybe maybe not you can pass it depends on your English and depends on your you know your target if your target is just five overall you can pass maybe maybe not so make sure you will practice a lot for your PT speaking right next topic is work on oral fluency that is very very important what is oral fluency oral fluency means your speed remember one thing guys your PT speaking section is based on three different pillars content oral fluency and pronunciation Content means each and every word. In the case of read aloud section, each and every word is a content. For repeat sentences, each and every word is content. Describe an image, each and every word. And same in the case of read a lecture, each and every word is a content. Right? So second is oral fluency. You have to maintain your speed. You have to speak at moderate rate. Not so much fast, not so much low. Let's take an example. If I will speak like this, you have to speak in just feel like this and you have to speak very calmly. If I will speak like this, are you understanding? No. And one more thing, if I will speak very fastly, maybe my, my it, it depends on my pronunciation as well. Because I'm not speaking well. The computer is all not understanding my voice. Even you are not understanding my voice. So how you can get good scores? These things are happening in the real exam that is the reason you are lacking guys actually so next and very very important that will motivate you stay calm and confident if you have practiced a lot you know everything then you should be confident about your all the things that you have done before exam some students are losing confidence in the real exam hence they are not passing the exam you have to be confident about what you have done if you have done lots of practice then why you are worrying about it i'm giving you motivation guys pte is so easy you can also pass this exam but you need to understand if you are lacking if you are struggling why i am lacking reason behind it if you don't know the reason you are doing just hit and trial method how you can pass it's a wastage of time and money right last but not the least that is engagement in active listening listening plays a vital role in the case of repeat sentences and retail lecture mainly in the repeat sentences if you will not listening again and again then how you can improve your listening section you can use techniques but techniques have limit for example there is one word like um, many students are coming to australia rather than other countries for studies i'm talking about pt speaking repeat sentences okay but if you are not speaking approximately minimum 50 to 60 percent if you are not speaking then how you can expect you can get good scores our expectations are very high but we are not doing something 
if first time you are not getting good scores understand it why reason what happened in the real exam some students are saying no it happened like technical issue i have to go to the that center because that center is giving good scores it's not working guys actually it is not working it is not the reality so you need to understand it so engage in active listening so overall i have given you these rules apply according to your requirement you know now i am going to tell you how you will speak read aloud repeat sentences describe an image template and read a lecture template let's start it now so guys here is my website nikhilpt.com you can also check this website and you can buy material from my websites we have prediction questions mock test mock test is really important before exam so that you can understand your level approximately so let's start with the read aloud as i told you in the read aloud section you have to be confident you have 35 seconds speak clearly we will do another question because this question i have done many times you know we will find out a new question you can see um we have study plans also like if you don't know how many questions you have to do in a single day we have study plan study plan packages so sorry about it my internet is so slow it's raining in australia i am living in adelaide so it's raining so that's why my internet is so bad actually let's start this one so you have 35 seconds just practice with me take a look and we will speak when our recording will start so in 35 seconds read accordingly you have to use that method that will use while recording actual recording okay so we have 35 seconds i will start this question again and what you have to do you have to read each and every word and find out that word in which you are not comfortable to speak leave that word so let's start now there are many reasons why water tastes stale when it is kept for a long time microorganisms play a big role in this phenomenon when they grow they release chemicals into the water from their metabolic activity this evaporates over time so the absence of it from water left out for a long period brings about a change in taste i'm ready There are many reasons why water tastes stale when it is kept for a long time. Microorganisms play a big role in this phenomenon. When they grow, they release chemicals into the water from their metabolic activity. This evaporates over time, so the absence of it from water left out for a long period brings about a change in taste. Then click the next button. When you are done, just click the next button because that's okay. If you are done in any case, So repeat sentence to describe an image and read a lecture when you are done just click the next button i will let you know about the answer sure question as well but later not now so i hope you understand how you will speak one more question we will do utilize your 35 seconds guys why you are wasting so here is the question tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs these include the brain heart lungs kidneys and liver each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together for example the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action i'm ready to go each and every word is simple i can do it tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs these include the brain heart lungs kidneys and liver each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together for example the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action click the next button muscle i said muscle instead of muscle i said muscle no problem one or two mistakes if you are doing but overall your performance was good happy you can also pass 90 do not think people who are getting 90 out of 
in the speedy speaking section they have good communication skills no as per my experience i got lots of students who have or who had less communication skills but still they are able to get 90 out of 90 why because of right guidance method okay so i hope you understand how you will speak in the case of pt speaking read aloud section now moving to the next section that is repeat sentences many of you are struggling in pt speaking repeat sentences if yes comment now i will make more videos on pt speaking repeat sentences in detail however i am explaining each and everything in detail in this video as well but if you need any other video in english we have uploaded many videos in hindi english and punjabi mostly in hindi and punjabi i am also uploading videos in english but very less but if you need videos in english you don't know hindi or punjabi then you can just comment i will definitely make a video for you guys for each and every section okay so now let's talk about pt speaking repeat sentences rule number 1 you have to speak more than 50% always with good oral fluency and pronunciation some students are fumbling while speaking repeat sentences that is not good you have to be confident listen it very carefully as i told you the rule active listening you have to practice a lot for your listening section so that you can able to get good scores so let's start and listen this question america is related to the chocolate industry so this question is very easy we will do another question the date of the invention of the first clock is disputed among historians so what do you have to do you can perform many things rule number 1 either you can listen the first half and write the second half or you can write the first half and written the second half or speak separate second half or memorize it it depends but try to speak minimum 50% if you are adding any extra word or you are missing any word there is no negative marking so make sure you will speak clearly so what will be the answer you can check the date of the invention of the first clock is distributed among historians if you are speaking like this the date of the invention first clock among historians you will also get good scores however you are missing some keywords or you are speak if you are speaking like this the date of the invention of the first clock is distributed among historians however you are speaking 100% correct but you will lose your marks why because you are taking many pauses your oral fluency is not good so you have to make balance between content oral fluency and pronunciation and this part you can only improve by practicing listen it speak listen it speak do this one definitely you can uh, get good scores so now describe an image you can get number of images like by pie graph bar graph table map real image whatever you can use only one template please note down it i am going to explain template so that you can uh, speak accordingly see if you know the template you are not sure you will get 100% marks in your pd speaking the main thing is that how you will perform so here is the question i will zoom out firstly you have to use one method top down left right so many students are confused if we have lots of information how we can speak guys you don't have to speak each and everything you just have to speak few keywords but if you have method then you can only do it otherwise not so we will follow top down left right so what is on top that is game players count down from jan to december left number of players right 2010 2009 first line you will speak with heading line and you can start like this um 
I have got a beautiful picture in front of me. Let me have a closer look to this picture. By having closer look, I can see several trends are emerging. Moreover, I can see this picture indicating. Then you will put your heading line that is game players count. Then after I can see we have done top. Now moving to the, the uh, bottom. I can see any three. March, May, June in which you are comfortable. For, for some students are speaking February, no February. If you are thinking I'm not able to speak well, you can choose another option. Like I'm comfortable to speak March, May, June. Very simple. Only three. Then again, left side. I can see number of players 500, 1000, 1500. Down right. I can see 2010, 2009. Done. Moreover, there are beautiful colors in this picture. I don't like red color, but I like green and blue. I guess I'm running out of time. I should press next. All done. So how you will speak? This one I will do. Let's take a look. Very simple question. We will do difficult one. So here you can see. I think uh, image is clear to you. How you will speak? I'm not taking any practice time. I'm just speaking. You have to take a look first. Don't waste your time. Utilize your time. Okay. I have got a beautiful picture in front of me. Let me have a closer look to this picture. By having closer look, I can see several trends are emerging. I can see government spending GDP. I can see 1980, 1985, 1990. I can see 20%, 30%, 50%. I can see Turkey, Japan, United States. There are beautiful colors in this picture. I don't like red color, but I like green and blue. I guess I'm running out of time. I should press next. Click the next button. So if you noticed, first line i mentioned wrong i said i think i can see i started my first line with i can see but no problem at all but previously i told you you have to speak i have got a beautiful picture in front of me let me have a closer look to this picture by having closer look i can see several times are merging moreover i can see this picture indicating moreover i can see i did not say this picture indicating but i say i can see heading line no problem at all so sometimes happen but you have to manage yourself all good so one question for retail lecture i will say in the retail lecture you know the speaker will speak approximately one minute and one and a half minute this part is very easy so i'm going to write a, a template for this one I'm using some rice spoken text because uh, here I can write but you can use <clears throat> for retail lecture only so let's take a look the states has been increasing over just wait a moment bicycling in the United States has been increased bicycling in the United States has been increasing over the last decade or two in certain cities and places like Minneapolis San Francisco Portland and Washington DC bicycling has gotten an additional boost by a very unfortunate event which is the COVID crisis many people found themselves at home and in the need of physical activity and they were flocking to bikes often for recreational purposes we have people who still go to work or have to make a trip but are not comfortable making it on public transport anymore and they are switching to the bicycle to make that trip so they are using the bike for utilitarian trip purposes or as a substitute for public transport. Many European countries have had higher cycling levels historically than the United States. But even from those levels now, they have made efforts for putting in bike lanes, putting in cycle tracks, and intersection modifications to accommodate bicyclists. They've seen a big growth in cycling, a big part of the population. So... However, this question is uh, 1 minute 15 seconds, but we have enough keywords because do not think if you will collect more keywords, then only you can pass this exam with perfect 90, no problem. The main thing is that you have to speak well. So you can use two tricks. First, you can collect keywords. Secondly, you can collect phrases and this part can help you in summarize spoken text as well because in summarize spoken text you have to write but in the case of retail lecture you have to speak but the method to collect keywords are same 
in both cases so you can use this trick as well so you can see so i am just writing three keywords only in lines i have only five lines which means i have to complete my retail lecture in just five lines first line is for topic and next three lines for keywords or phrases and last line for conclude so in this case how will you, how i will speak doesn't really matter if you are not able to speak any word for example if you are not speaking united states or comfortable or any word you have written but you are not comfortable to speak do not collect only verbs nouns phrases you have to collect so how you will speak first line is the lecture was based on topic right then the big uh, explained then you will put keyword one keyword two and keyword three if you have less keywords you can put only two keywords or if you have phrase then you will put only phrase he or she mentioned again three keywords keyword four keyword five and keyword six or phrase again he she told keyword seven keyword eight and keyword nine to conclude this lecture was based on here you can put keyword or you can say this lecture was very informative so in this case how you will speak let me tell you the lecture was based on cry covid crisis koi kuch bhi you know anything you can speak doesn't really matter like you know if you are um collect keywords then don't worry about it the lecture was based on united states the speaker explained san francisco washington dc and covid crisis the speaker mentioned physical activity still go to work he also explained not comfortable in public and traffic and public traffic and bicycle use many european countries use cycling to conclude this lecture was based on cycle tracks no problem however i have stopped myself for one or two times but i managed myself accordingly right so you don't have to do like this if you are not speaking well don't worry about it speak with good or fluency in pronunciation make sure see if you will collect lots of keywords then you will think i have to speak but the situation is different in the real exam if you have only seven to eight keywords that's are enough that keywords are enough to get pt speaking 90 out of 90 and last but not the least let's talk about answer short question these questions are not really important you can speak anything if you don't know the answer you can speak anything from the question as well right so guys this is all about pt speaking tips and tricks i hope you like my video if you are here for the first time like share and subscribe and we we started our coaching pt online since 2017 and till now we are providing classes over the world in hindi english and punjabi we have institution we have one branch in jalandhar india as well in which you can get physical classes or we have main office in australia adelaide you can start your own live classes with us in hindi english and punjabi if you are struggling you want to pass pt with good scores so nikhil pte is here for you guys all the best call nikhil pt for classes bye bye